So what I'll tell you, if anybody's watching this and you're introverted, you're a behind the desk person, you want to step out there, have a great big life, and you're counting yourself out because you don't think you can have it, I'm going to tell you a secret how to get it. Do what others won't. Get freaking uncomfortable. Do it. And you will suck at it. And you're going to get made fun of in the beginning. But then you'll be laughing your way to the freaking bank when all those haters that were ragging on you, right, see you smashing them because you get it down. Look, whatever you do and you do a lot, you're going to become good at. That's it. A lot of people want results, but you got to fall in love with the journey. A lot of people are one dimensional. They're getting a little bit of something, but dude, a lot of them are miserable. Yeah. Okay. Cause if you chase this, if you do get it and lose all this, you're going to hate yourself. Well, dude, you don't have to sacrifice. Dude, my leaders were like, dude, you can't get everything. Choose one thing you want. And that's what you get. I call bullshit, man. You don't have to give up your family. You don't have to give up your health. You don't have to give up liking yourself. You don't give up any of this. You can get all that stuff if you want it. So whatever you want, you can get. So our, our biggest goal is total recreation. A lot of people aren't who they, who they want to be and they're not where they want to be. So we totally recreate them, bro. I mean, I brainwash people, man, to literally believe in themselves. Yeah, like seriously, like, like the news brainwashes people to be afraid and scared and I brainwash people to feel powerful. Yeah. And so I put myself in uncomfortable, intentional, notice the word intentional, intentional, uncomfortable places every day that make me pull this guy out. Because honestly, dude, if I don't do if I don't do it, you know, I'm afraid I might go back to the old guy. And so what protects the old guy from meeting the new me today? All the uncomfortable shit that I'm doing, all the the high risk decisions. And by the way, you know what? Really, it's not that high risk. The biggest risk is actually not doing it. But at the end of the day, once you start to make these courage decisions, number one, it's a for sure sign that you do really believe in yourself the way that you say you do, because you won't do it otherwise. If I said, do this, do you believe in you? You're like, yeah, go do it. Do it now. Don't wait another day, go do it now. I don't care what you got saved. I don't care where you're at. If you want to go do it, just go do it. I said that term in the beginning that people that come from nothing can end up with the most. I really truly believe that your problems that you have are really not big problems. They're really not, okay? You just need someone to tell you they're not that big because we get in our own head and we try to tear ourselves down. People are their own greatest asset or their worst enemy. This is the truth and 99% of us, we're our own worst enemy. And realize, man, how lucky you are. Dude, if God didn't want you here, you wouldn't be alive. You should have been dead already and you know you should. The fact that you're here, you got big things to do, wake up.